Greetings, and welcome to Oro Commerce's video tutorial series. This is Rondo with Oro Inc., and today I'll be demonstrating how to create customer user roles using Oro Commerce. A customer user role is a predefined set of permissions assigned to a customer user in the system. Roles are generally created and based on a user's job functions. Roles help to assure that users are given access only to the information they need to perform their work and not given access to information or functionality that is unnecessary. The following roles are predefined and available for every customer user by default. Administrator, Buyer, and Non-Authenticated User. Administrator for the customer is able to create other customer users, groups, assign permissions, and more. Buyers may have permissions to create invoices, orders, request quotes, and more. A non-authenticated user does not have general permissions, but will have access to workflows such as checkout, creating contact requests or cases, order follow-up, just to name a few. With customer user roles, you can customize the permissions and capabilities for a specific job requirement. For example, you may want to create a junior buyer role, which does not need access to all available buyer permissions. This role, for instance, might only need access to be able to create and edit quotes, product prices, and shopping lists. With customer user roles, you can drill down to these key permissions to ensure that users have the access to everything they need to do their job, and nothing more. For this demonstration, I will create a junior buyer role, which only has access to quote permissions and quote-related workflows. Specifically, I will assign this role to be able to view, create, edit, delete, and assign permissions to the quote and request for quote entity. Additionally, this role will be granted access to workflows for quotes, such as quote back office, quote flow, request for quotes both back office and front office, and request for quotes. To create a customer role, navigate to the Customers menu and use the drop-down to select Customer User Roles. Click the Create Customer User Role button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. A blank customer role form displays. Give the role a meaningful name. In the customer field, use the drop down to select a customer or company to assign this new role to. If there are current customers associated with the role, a dialog will display asking you to confirm the change. Additionally, if you'd like to select a new customer, click the plus button to load a new customer dialog. Click the Entity link to assign permissions to this role. Use the tabs to narrow down the list to the specific permissions needed. For our example, we're going to create a role that specifically works with quotes and requests for quotes. Click on the Quotes tab. As you can see, currently this role has no access to quotes. We can change these permissions to allow selected users to access only this information. On the Quote line, Click the drop-down next to View None in order to give permissions for selected users to view their own quotes, department-level quotes, or corporate-level all quotes. Select Corporate Level. Now these selected users can view quotes from all levels of the organization. Next, repeat the process to determine if you want the selected users to be able to create, edit, delete, or assign quotes and at the desired level. Repeat the process for every permission you wish to assign. When you're finished assigning permissions, click on the Workflow link to assign the ability to view workflows or perform transitions if necessary. Click on the plus symbol next to the quote Flow Workflow. This expands to show all steps in the workflow. Click on the drop-down next to View Workflow None on the Quote Flow line. We would like this user to have full access to perform transitions for any quote-related workflows. The Perform Transitions None drop-down to determine if you want users to be able to perform transitions. Options available are for Full or None. Select Full. Repeat this process for every workflow you would like these selected users to have. When you're finished configuring workflows, Click on the Customer Users link. The listed users are limited to the companies that have been previously assigned to this role. Click the checkbox next to each user under the Has Role column to assign users to this role. 
When you're finished configuring the roll, click the Save and Close button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. You're now returned to the View page for the roll. From this page, you can edit the roll or click on the Customer User Roll breadcrumb to return to the Customer User Roll Grid. From the Customer Roll Grid, use the available Quick Action items to view or edit the record directly from the grid. Additionally, you can click on any roll to load the roll's view page. Thanks for watching. For more video tutorials, please check out our website at www.orocommerce.com/media-library.